So I just got off the phone with one of my clients and came up with this amazing strategy that I have to share with you guys on alcohol. Now, alcohol and weight loss and muscle gain don't really go together, right? Like alcohol is not ideal, especially when it comes to trying to burn fat. It's not good to have a lot of alcohol. And the problem is most people, when they have one, they can't stop at one. So my client was struggling with this because he would have one beer and then another beer and another beer and it would just keep going. So what we did was instead of saying like, okay, look, you're never going to have alcohol again, which is not realistic at all. And we want something that I like to give all of our clients something that is sustainable, something that in a method that you can use forever and you're never going to cut it out. And while we all know the effects of alcohol and weight loss is not good, we all we can never get rid of it, right? Like you're always going to have alcohol somewhere, right? There's always going to be an event or something going on that people are going to be drinking around you and you're going to want some. So the strategy we came up with with this client was again, because the problem was he would have one and one would turn into four. So if we told him like, you're never going to have alcohol again, he wouldn't be able to do that for a long period of time because willpower is like a gas tank. The more determined you are, the higher your motivation is in the tank. But after a couple of tries, you know, I mean, let's say you went Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you went out and you had events. Friday, you'd probably be really, really good and strict because you want to get results. Saturday, you'd be strict again because you really want results, but you'd be more tempted on Saturday. By Sunday, your motivation tank is down to like half empty and you give in and you have one or two. And then that's when it spirals into more and more. So the strategy that we came up with was, and again, this was a standard that we set for him, is every time you have one drink, you have to have another drink equal to that that contains zero calories. So for example, if you have one beer, then you cannot have two beers back to back. So you go one beer, one water, or one bottle of Diet Coke or something like that. Then you can have another beer after you have that. So if he, and he told me that when he's normally out with his friends, it's like four beers is like typical whatever. So now if we do that, one beer, one bottle of water, you're gonna be more fuller, you have another beer, okay, you're gonna be full, you're still out with your friends the same amount of time, now you're two beers in, now you have to have another drink, another liquid of zero calories, you have that, now you still have the four drinks that you normally would, but it's half the calories. So we essentially saved half those calories for him, but now he also is still being social with his friends, he didn't dip into his willpower motivation tank, and it's a sustainable thing that he can do long term. I asked him, I said, do you think you can handle this? He says, absolutely. And he will report back and let me know how it goes. But I thought it was a really, really strong strategy to teach you guys how to drink less and weigh less and still lose the body fat and gain the muscle that you're looking to lose. So give that strategy a shot. One beer, one non-alcoholic drink of equal value. So one can of beer, one bottle of water or a Powerade Zero or a Gatorade Zero or a whiskey or drink, cup of water. Never have two alcoholic beverages back to back and watch how you cut those calories out, lose that body fat and gain that muscle. If you have any questions about any of this, just click that link below and I'll catch you on the next one.